Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and in this video I'm going to show you how to check a thermostat with a multimeter. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. In today's video we're going to go over thermostats and how to check them with a multimeter. In this video we're going to be checking the system with the power on therefore we're going to be checking the system using voltage. Here is a custom training board that I designed and built. This is in representation of an air conditioner. Here you can see is our thermostat. If we follow our wires, this is our low voltage terminal block. This is where we're gonna be checking our thermostat. This low voltage terminal block can be found either if it's in a split system in the indoor section or if it's a package unit in your control panel. Let's begin by taking off the faceplate on our thermostat just so we can go over what type of system we have and see what terminals are wired to what and which color. Here's the back plate to our thermostat and let's just go over our connections. If we follow our green wire, it goes to terminal G, which is our fan. If we look at W, we have no wire here. Typically, W is represented in the white color and that is gonna be your heating. I'm going to show you how to check your heating even though we don't have a wire there. Next we can see we have a blue wire which is our common. Y is our cooling in yellow. Then we have R which is jumped over to RC. So these two terminals is our power in. So 24 volts and common. So that's how we complete the circuit. Let's go ahead and trace these wires to our low voltage terminal block. We follow our wires, here is our low voltage terminal block. R, C, G, and Y. Power has now been applied to our unit and we can begin troubleshooting. The meter I am using today is the Fluke 902FC HVAC clamp meter. We're gonna set our meter to volts AC. Right now we have the thermostat in the off position. Nothing should be happening but since we have power applied between terminal R and C, we should have 24 volts. So this is R and this is C. Right there, we have 28.3 volts. There is no such thing as a perfect world, so you will not have exact numbers with voltages. So just know that if you have above 24 volts or 24 volts, you have your voltage. So if you do not have this voltage, you can stop troubleshooting your thermostat and you should be aiming towards your transformer. I will leave a link in this video's description and you will see a pop-up on how to troubleshoot a transformer. So first things first, if we have 24 volts, if we do, then we can proceed because now we know that we have control voltage. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways on how to check a thermostat and that is going to be based on your reference point. It's either going to be based on R or C. We're going to start with my preferred way, which is using the R terminal as your reference point. So right now we have the fan on auto and the system on off. So right now nothing should be working. So we're going to check between R and G. Right there we have 28 volts. Just turn on the light so you all can see. So we have 24 volts. This means that our circuit is open. Watch as I turn the system on on. I'm going to turn the fan on on. You hear that sound? That is because a fan is actually running. That is going to be our evaporator fan. G controls our indoor fan, our evaporator fan. When you heard this turn off, excuse me, when you heard this turn on, you saw that we had a voltage drop between R and G we have zero volts, and that is because the switch closed. That is a good sign. We're gonna put the fan on auto again so it turns off. And as you can see, we have 28 volts again. The circuit is open. Next, we can put the system on cooling. Please note, two things happen when you put the system in cooling. You send power from R to G, which is our indoor fan. We want that to start, and at the same time, R gets sent over to Y. So our condensing unit starts and our indoor fan starts. Right now the system is on off. 
right? So of course, between R and our fan, we have our 28 volts, right? Our 24 volts. And between R and Y, we also have our 28 volts. And this is because our circuit is open. When we set the thermostat to cooling, Y will close with R and G will close. So let's go ahead and put the system on cooling. We already know what happens with G, so I'm gonna show you what happens with Y, because that is our cooling wire. Right now, we have 28 volts, circuit is open. We're gonna set it to cooling. Room, set the temperature below the room temperature and watch the voltage. Right there, there is a cool on blinking. That, that means that there is an internal time delay built into the thermostat. So once the cool on goes steady and our time delay passes, we're gonna see a voltage drop. As you can hear, our indoor fan started. Right now we have our meter across R and Y. You can see we had our voltage drop. Now we have zero volts. That means the circuit closed and the thermostat is doing its job. Of course, we hear the fan running, but that should also have zero volts because now our circuit is closed as well. Turn the system off. And once again, we have voltage between R and Y. And the same between R and G. This is a representation of an air conditioning unit with no heat, but if you do have a system with heat, it's the same principle. Let's just pretend this terminal here is W. So you're gonna check between R and W. When the system's not calling, you should have your 24 volts. When your system calls, you should get zero volts between the two, and it's as simple as that. Now, I'm gonna show you the second way on how to check and that's gonna be between your common and then your functions. If so far you're enjoying this content, don't forget to share with your friends, drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week, and let's continue. Let's start with G, our fan. So we're gonna go from common to G, C to G. System is off, we have zero volts, and if we put it on on, now we have 28 volts now power sending through. So, if you've noticed, it's the exact opposite. Exact, exact opposite. So it depends what is your reference point. And personally, I like to use R because every thermostat has R. Sometimes you won't see a common connected at the actual thermostat. But it would be important to see if it would be at the low voltage terminal block. And you must know both ways. So now we're gonna turn the system on off, the fan, and we lost the voltage. Now we're gonna go from common to cooling. And let's see what happens on the R wire. Right now we have between common and Y, zero volts. If we put the system on cool, once again, we have a delay. At the moment we have zero volts, but once this kicks in, between C and Y, you will see there will be 24 volts. Okay. Our cooling operation has begun, and as you can see, between C and Y, we now have voltage. Turn the system off. And we lose the voltage, so it is the exact opposite. Once again, let's pretend this is gonna be our W terminal. So when the system is off, we should have zero volts here. Let's turn off the meter because we're not actually checking anything anymore. So between C and W, when the system is off, you're gonna have zero volts. And once you call for the thermostat, if it's doing its job, we're gonna have that switch over in voltage. So once it does call and close, between C and W, you will have our 24 volts. There you have it. That is how you check a thermostat with a multimeter, specifically using voltage. This is gonna be when the power to the system is on. This is a working thermostat, and those are the values you should be getting if it is operating. If it doesn't make those switchovers, then you know your thermostat needs to be replaced. 
If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.